Hello, Ron Pinkerton back with you. This is the third in a series of eight videos about upgrading Oracle SOA Suite to version 12C. If you haven't yet seen the first two videos, watch them first. You'll get a good overview of the entire upgrade process and learn about a number of critical tasks you need to perform to ensure a smooth, successful upgrade. Once you've seen those videos, you'll be ready for this demonstration of installing 12C software as part of your upgrade. To completely upgrade the topology on this diagram, we'd need to install Fusion Middleware Infrastructure, SOA Suite, and Oracle HTTP Server. Because our sample topology includes two hosts but no shared location, we'd need to install the software on both hosts. In this video, we're only going to cover the installation of Fusion Middleware Infrastructure and the SOA Suite, and we're only going to demo the task on one host. We'll start by installing the 12C version of Fusion Middleware Infrastructure. Our current 11G installation is installed at U01 App FMW, or Fusion Middleware. When upgrading, the 12C software needs to be installed to a different location. For our demo, we've chosen U01 App FMW 12C as our new Oracle Home Directory. To start the installation program, we log in to one of our hosts. The installer requires that a certified JDK already exist on our system. We navigate to the directory where we downloaded the installation program. In our case, that's U01 Stage. From there, we launch the installation program by invoking the Java executable from the Java Home bin directory. We've pointed to the JDK and changed to the directory where the installation program is located. With the appropriate Java command entered, we're ready to start the installation. The Oracle Universal Installer briefly checks system prerequisites before beginning in earnest. At this point, the installer begins to load. The welcome screen introduces us to the product installer. On the installation location screen, we specify our Oracle home directory. Remember, we need to specify a new Oracle home for our 12C installation. We're going to use U01 app FMW 12C. Check the typing and click Next. On the installation type screen, we select the type of installation and consequently, the products and feature sets we want to install. Oracle recommends that you not install the examples into a production environment. So with that in mind, we'll accept the default Fusion Middleware Infrastructure option. Here we see the installer verifying that our system meets the minimum necessary requirements. If there are any warning or error messages, we can click the View Log button. We don't see any problems, so we'll click Next to continue. Use the Security Update screen to indicate how you'd like to receive security updates. Because we don't have an Oracle support account for this demo system, we're going to decline this option, but it's strongly recommended that you accept it. We clear the checkbox and click Next. The confirmation window asks, do you wish to remain uninformed of critical security issues in your configuration? Okay for us, bad idea for you. The installation summary screen then lists the installation options we've selected. If we want, we can save these options to a response file that can be used later in a silent installation situation. To do that, we'd click Save Response File and provide the location and name of the file. In this demo, we'll skip that optional step and instead click Install. The installation is now underway. The screen displays the progress of the task. And we see progress at 100%. If the screen had reported any failures, we could click the View Log button to debug the problem. Happily, that's not the case for us, so we're going to click Next instead. This final screen looks a lot like the summary screen that we saw before running the installation, but it reflects each of our options as completed. We can review the information on this screen before we click Finish to dismiss the installer. There are several steps you can take to verify the installation, including reviewing the installation log files, checking the directory structure, or viewing the contents of Oracle Home. For more information, check out each of the recommended documents on your screen. With Fusion Middleware Infrastructure 12C installed, we're ready to install the 12C version of the SOA suite. 
We'll invoke the SOA installer with the same syntax we used to start the Fusion Middleware Infrastructure installer. With our command line in place, let's start the installation. The installer initializes and displays the welcome screen. It looks familiar, and we click Next. We're prompted for the location of our Oracle home directory. This Oracle home should be the new 12C home where we installed the Fusion Middleware infrastructure earlier in this video. We can use the drop-down and select that same Oracle home and then click Next. On the Installation Type screen, we specify products and feature sets to install. If our 11G domain were configured with BPM, we'd use BPM as our install option. Our example doesn't include BPM, so we're going to proceed with the default option, SOA Suite. The prerequisite checks are done. We click Next. We can use the Installation Summary screen to verify the installation options we've selected. As with the Fusion Middleware Infrastructure installation, we can select to save these options to a response file for later use in a silent installation. We click Install to begin the installation. We see the progress bar begin to move. The installation is underway. And we're at 100%. Right now, we can click Finish to dismiss the installer or Next to see a summary. We'll click Next. We can review the summary information on this screen. We're content that what we expected to happen actually happened. So we click Finish to dismiss the installer. We won't demo it a second time, but our next step will be to repeat this installation on the additional hosts in our environment. If you have multiple hosts, the same would be true for you. Now that the 12.2.1 software is installed, you can run the Upgrade Assistant Readiness Check. The Readiness Check performs a pre-upgrade review of your existing Oracle Fusion Middleware schemas and Oracle WebLogic configurations. It generates a readiness report, so you can address potential issues before you attempt the actual upgrade. If no issues are detected, you can begin the upgrade process. To perform a readiness check on your pre-upgrade environment, launch the Upgrade Assistant in Readiness mode. The wizard opens to the Welcome screen. It displays a reminder that no upgrade will be performed by running the report, and that it's not necessary to take a backup at this time. When running the readiness check, you have the option of performing readiness checks on individually selected schemas or on a WebLogic administration server or domain. The domain option will evaluate all of the upgrade eligible schemas and or component configurations used by the domain. Upgrade Assistant will detect the schemas for you. In this example, we'll choose the domain-based readiness check. When checking the WebLogic server domain, you can select one or more options each time you run the readiness check. First, you can include checks for all schemas used by this server. When this option is selected, the Upgrade Assistant will discover and select all components that have schemas available to upgrade. Wherever possible, the Upgrade Assistant will pre-populate connection information on schema input screens. Your second option is to include checks for WebLogic component configurations. Select this option to upgrade component configurations for a managed WebLogic server domain after reconfiguration you'll be prompted to supply the 12C connection information. The third option is to perform online and offline readiness checks. After making your choices, a read-only list shows the components that will be reviewed. If more than one component schema is selected, the Upgrade Assistant will ask for the prefix underscore STB credentials first, and then will pre-populate the other schema credential information when available. This screen provides a high-level overview of the readiness checks that will be performed based on your selections. When you click Next, the readiness checks are performed. If you're running the readiness check on your online production environment, Oracle recommends that you perform the check during off-peak hours to prevent performance degradation. Overall progress and completion details of the readiness check are displayed. Readiness success indicates that the readiness review was successfully completed. Even with a successful completion of the review, you should still click View Readiness Report and view the report before you perform the actual upgrade. When reviewing the readiness report, you can use the Find option to search for a particular word within the report, such as a schema name or a particular command. Be sure to review the report and correct any issues before you start the actual upgrade. The readiness check can be run any number of times before the actual upgrade is performed. 
However, don't run the check after an upgrade is performed because the report won't provide valid results. We've seen the successful installation of 12C Fusion Middleware Infrastructure and SOA Suite in a new Oracle Home Directory. We've run the upgrade readiness check to verify our system is ready for upgrade. If you have the need to install JDeveloper, this might be a logical time to do it. We're going to skip that step in this demo, so we're ready to enter the upgrade phase of our project. In the next video in this series, we'll demonstrate using the repository creation utility to create required database schemas for 12C. Until then, I'm Ron Pinkerton. Thanks for your time and attention.